Hello and welcome back to House Volume 4. I'm Count Christo and this is Luxembourg's Lux Invicta. We haven't managed to spread our light very far across this world as yet, but we have taken some significant territories out of France and of course our glorious glorious Belgian possessions are uh, serving us very nicely. So, the uh, Germans have a war goal on the Netherlands, so I'm expecting any day now they'll declare war on the Netherlands, and we will see if we can snipe a little bit of that for ourselves. Did I just see a superfluous trade? Yes, I did. Definitely don't need to import any steel anymore. We've got heaps of steel these days. Okay, so yeah, any day now there'll be a German declaration, probably once they have troops all the way along the border. But we are ready for this declaration. We want to get uh, as many of these states as possible. Look, there's 19 slots there. There's lots of stuff there. Well, actually, I think that's an interesting question. So we took dispersed industry. They've took concentrated industry. If they had like concentrated five, we had dispersed one. Would all the stocks slots stay unlocked, or would us taking it delete a bunch of the factories? Hmm. Don't know. So we've got. Nice port, uh, port garrisons, we've got our suppression units going down. Obviously the Germans are going to just be terrible. Oh, they're prepared to give us more states. Not Alsace, because they've got a... No, they've no claim on Alsace. Nonsense. <laughs> okay, so we want uh, center. That's a great state. Where else? Uh, looks like center's the best. Ooh, Normandy's nice. Yeah, it looks like Centre and Normandy are the best two if they'll give them to us. And some uh, dockyards down there could be good. Oh, of course. Shows a tick, but then not a tick. Oh well. Well, if the Germans do end up taking most of the Netherlands, uh, if we don't manage to steal it from them, then um, that's not too bad because. Oh, we can modify the government. Because we'll, um, then they'll have proportionally more land and maybe they'll be willing to give us Centre, which would be great. Okay, so. Um, I think I might go to all adult serve straight away. Zero manpower is not sustainable, so yeah. God, didn't make much of a difference, did it? <laughs> God. Yeah, we really don't have very much manpower. And uh, obviously at the moment we can't train any new guys from uh, from down here because they'll get taken out by allied ships when they come up. So this is the, pretty much the force we're going to win the war with. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I think we can do it. So that... Oh, there we go. First naval invasion. Looks like we've got this. Our guys are really not very good, but should be able to defend. Oh, we can get guys up from the Congo, because we just have to change the division template. Uh-huh, see? That's good. That'll work. Okay. But the next change I want to make... Hmm, what do I think? More infantry, probably? Like that? That would take another... 34,000 manpower... So we have enough to do this, because you know most of the manpower would come from um, come from Congo. So let's do that. Okay, so our manpower shouldn't go down by that much. Yeah, it's going down quite a bit. But yeah, it looks like we're holding fine here. I think their huge amphibious invasion penalty. If they attacked with, you know, if they did ten, um, what you call them, ten marine divisions on one province, then we'd be in real trouble. But I think as it is, we can probably hold fine. We need a different icon for these, because these are now much better than our personal divisions. So let's give them the... Uh, let's go back to this RT division icon. Where's that? There it is. Okay, we don't have any of these, do we? No, so I'll delete those. Cool. Yeah, so the ones with the artillery icon are significantly better. If you compare the stats, they're, they're quite a lot better, especially on HP. They're a lot better on HP. That's not very sensible, actually, of me. Because the more HP the unit has, the harder they are to damage. So maybe if I put some more infantry in here, can we afford that? Yes, we can afford to do it twice. Except that we couldn't, because we're going to need to put some... Um, I'll just do it once. Because we need to be able to put some um, field hospitals in, and that's going to take uh, 300 manpower per division. <coughs> Go on, Joe, we need to clear war. And then I think we might declare war on uh, Switzerland. Probably. I mean, I can't see why not, basically. And there's, you know, there's manpower here, so every little bit helps. We, well, we might not bother. We might just focus on trying to take out uh, the Allies. 
predictably they have naval superiority, uh, sorry, air superiority of the south of England. Oh no, we have superiority of the south of England right now. Really? That's intriguing. But I never actually produced any uh, transport planes, unfortunately. Well, we need some transport planes, like, right now. Because if we could get onto the south of England, that would just be too good. Nine a year. It's going to take a whole month. All right, let's really... Actually, if I just solve those resource deficits, then we might be okay. Oh, the Dutch East Indies. Of course, we're not at war with the Dutch yet. <laughs> so the Dutch are going to give me rubber that I'm going to use to uh, take out their guys. Now we need... Oh, we've got surplus of tungsten. Good. Um, and that's... Oh, no, oil. Oil, oil, oil. Soviets. Give me some oil. Okay. So now we're producing more than one a month. That's good. As soon as they declare war, we're going to be really low on rubber. Hopefully, um... Oh no, I forgot. Japan's doing terribly this game. So Japan's not likely to take Malaya. Hmm. That's interesting. How is the uh, African war going? Looks like the uh, Italians have got quite a lot of troops down here. Hmm. Doesn't really matter. The African war. It's not hugely significant unless they're going for total control of the Mediterranean. So, I mean, taking these ports is good if, you want, uh, if you're the Axis. You want to take all the ports on the Mediterranean and then you can... Uh, completely kill the French uh, fleet. Yeah, the... There we go. Okay. So, yeah, march in from all directions as quick as we can. We need to make sure that we're the ones that get the victory points. So actually, yeah, don't attack from that direction there. Let's just focus, focus down uh, Amsterdam. Good. This guy is managing to progress in while they're holding a bit over here at least. The USSR occupies Eastern Poland, so we're honouring our agreement with the uh, Soviets. Wow, it's a lot of divisions you've got over there, Germany. Wow! <laughs> yeah, Germany has a lot of divisions. This is not... Uh, they don't have any bonuses. And they've already got 259 divisions, that's pretty good. Okay, we pushed in one province. Keep going, keep going. Why are they showing an attack symbol when there's no attack here? Okay, so there goes our trade with the East Indies, unfortunately. Let's just get as much as we can from these guys. It's inefficient to trade like that. We need the rubber. Why are we giving this land to Germany? That makes no sense. We're taking it from our land. For some reason, it's all going to Germany. Weird. But we get that province. Bizarre. Well, we're still getting credit for taking it, so doing the actual, because the actual taking of the land is one of the things that you get credit for, not just the uh, having it occupied. Germany, <laughs> garrison your freaking ports. You don't need this many guys over there. You've got a non-aggression pact. There's a naval invasion. Not too much of a problem, really. So, let's keep garrisoning. Uh, actually, that's not a port province, is it? No. Okay, that's fine. Come on, we've got to be the ones to take Amsterdam. Yes, yes, I think we might have it. We're holding off these naval divisions, right? Yeah. I'm using my weaker divisions to hold the coast, because I think that's plenty. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Come on. If we're the ones to take Amsterdam, that'd be great. I think we are going to be. We're still short of a bit of rubber. We produce any transport planes yet. No. Oh, and it has now flipped some of it to us. This is... I'm confused. Oh, but it gave them Amsterdam, oddly enough. Push the Hague. Oh, don't push the Hague. They're holding. There. And it's... Oh, it is divvying up by state. It gave us Brabant, but it's giving them Holland for some reason. That's weird. And there they go. But during that fight, we would have... What?! How did that happen? Oh, they're bombing. Ah, Their stupid bombing participation is so dumb. They've got 300 bombing participation, despite the fact that we capitulated all of France. Hmm, this is going to be harder than I thought. We're not going to be able to take nearly as much land as I was hoping for in this war, I don't think. I'm a bit ahead of myself, of course. We have to win first. We still have naval air superiority over, France, over Britain. That's ridiculous. Alright, so all you guys, we didn't actually gain any ports there, so if all of you guys would just uh, 
Come and stand in Dunkirk. They presumably must have... What? How do we have naval supremacy? This is insane. Okay, well, I mean, if you're going to give me naval supremacy, I'm going to plan a naval invasion. Of course. Why can't I assign units to this? This is odd. You. Um... That's interesting. I can't add units to the uh, naval invasion. It's a valid place to go to. I should be able to plan it even if I don't have naval superiority. Alright, let's try that again. U5, with no order. Just make sure. Dunkirk, actually here looks better. Oh, I haven't, oh, I haven't invented naval invasions. <laughs> Oh dear, that's that's less than less than great. Okay, in that case, it's going to have to be a power drop. So everyone, come down here to uh, Dunkirk. Uh, except, oh yeah, I haven't invented parachutes either. Can just infantry guys power drop? No. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a longer war then than I hoped for. I should have invented power drops and I should have invented naval invasions. Oh well, we'll do that next. It's fine. Oh, suppression, more suppression needed down here. Right, you, let's have two of them come down here. Where else? Oh, it's rising in all these places. Okay, we're going to need uh, some seriously increased suppression then. Uh, come down here. And you two send one down here and one to here. Hopefully that'll be enough. There's Legion Romania. Okay, great. There's our uh, our field hospital. I'm going to go... S no, no, no. No, no. Remember. Remember what we're missing. We need paratroopers. Okay, we're going to need one more here. We're going to need two more here, maybe. Are we getting... Yeah, we're going to need some suppression up here as well. There we go. Okay, we've got it decreasing down here. That's good. And here, but we do need some in here and here. Darn. Oh, that's not ours, that's fine. Good, good, good. So one of you down here. Where else? We just let people get to their locations. We're still holding fine over here, looks like. There's ideological fanaticism. Great. And now we've got loads of... F oh, 53, that's great. So now we can go for both of these. Uh, I'd rather have... Well, they're identical, so doesn't really matter. Uh, we need more guys in centre, really? No, it's going down now. Uh, got it under control here yet? Not quite. Let's swap out the smaller division for a larger one, just so we try and min-max as much as possible there. Is that the right? No, that's the map mode. Okay, so it's going down here, going up in Troy's just a bit, so let's send one of the small divisions over. How about centre now? Centre's still going up. Okay, let's send down a large, another large division. We're holding fine over here. They'll be taking heavy casualties in all these failed naval invasions, which is great. Uh, oops. There we go. Still going up. Oh, he hasn't arrived yet. Okay. And hopefully... Minus five. Great. Uh, okay, minus five. Minus one. Minus, 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 minus. 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 Okay, so they're capping the resistance at 23. At 23, what chance is there to sabotage construction? 15% still, so we do need some more guys down there. Let's send a small division down. How's the suppression up here? Still needs more. Send him up. There's loads of naval invasions coming into Vlanderen. It's an interesting strategy. They're all losing. Ooh, research slot. Um, we need a naval invasion capacity. But I can't believe that we're going to actually maintain naval supremacy here, surely. Why is it saying 78, even though there's one friendly ship here? It's very weird. Oh, they've retaken air supremacy. Darn, darn, darn. That's annoying. But we appear to have naval supremacy here for some baffling reason, so I think we must go ahead and invent transport ships. Right, let's just finish up this... Uh... Okay, it's still pretty high here. Let's send down some more, some more ships. Germany, can I have some more, um... Oh, I haven't got any lend from them yet. Okay. Well, I'd love some lend -lease. 
some opal bl that's not really enough I'd like some more than that could I can I have some lilies from you no about Italy yeah Italy's gonna give us some stuff good mm, not much why are they not giving us as much as they normally do it's irritating hmm well we're just gonna have to live with it I guess we need uh, they're going up a tiny bit. What's it capped at? Capped at 7.2. That's probably okay. Uh, they're all in the negatives, so that's fine. Here it's capped at 22. That's not good enough. Here it's capped at 39. That's not good enough. But we can't use this much, this many troops for suppression. So we're going to have to get a um, suppression division going. So call it MPs, give it the icon, and it wants to be cav. Oh, no. Uh, mobile cav. That actually got better suppression. Probably two cav. Oh, I don't have enough. Wow, I don't have enough experience to do that. Okay, so let's train up some of these. There's only a thousand in each, so they're not very expensive. Let's get a bunch of those going. And uh, we want them to deploy as soon as possible here in Waloni. No idea if that's how you say that, but there you go. So yeah, the Canadians throwing themselves into the beaches. Very historical of them. Oh, one of those in the wrong port. Yeah, so we need to get some of those MPs out, which will let us um, <clears throat> have access to these factories. Okay, so we've got some transport planes coming in. That's good. Motorized needs are filled. Let's go on to a bit more infantry equipment. Since, uh, oh, 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 they landed punish them for doing so. This is why we don't really mind them landing on non-port non provinces, because it doesn't really lose us anything, really. I mean, you just go in and kill them again. Let's get the next level of construction. Now we actually have some factories to construct with. Germany, garrison your freaking ports. I think they're garrisoning these. That's good at least, I guess. Okay. Um, these guys we don't need to let train, so I'm going to rush deploy them the second they're ready. Uh, how are we doing suppression now? Oh, Ile de France is really hard to uh, to put down. Okay, we definitely want to prioritise. If we're doing any repairing, repair civilian factories. Uh, is that all? Yeah, that's all nonsense. Okay, but I don't really want to waste factories on repairing. I'd rather um, rather focus on building more. So we want some more military factories, and we probably need some more. Actually, build in your own territory first, always. And we should probably do with some more civvies as well, because we're really low on just factories generally. So if we could get a couple more, a couple more of everything, that'd be handy. More of them landing. What I could do is just move this garrison order over one, so that as soon as they arrive, I'm ready to just go in and take them out. <coughs> oh, endless naval invasions here. Okay, they've got air superiority over us, but we now have air superiority over the Benelux, which is kind of crazy. If only we had paratroopers. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm like, I like the idea of having these guys here, and then as soon as they land, you can just move in and take them out. No problem. Okay, uh, still a bit of resistance down here in Lorraine, with 5%. It's a 3% chance of sabotage constructions. I think we can probably live with that. <coughs> I'd like... Um, what was I thinking? Yeah, I'd like to get a... Oh, we don't have a... What's he called? The kind of... Um, I can't remember what they're called. The political advisor who re reduces Prince of Terror. He reduces um, the chance of resistance building. Yeah, that's it. And the effect of resistance. Calls arms from Japan. Why not? Okay. Ooh, we just saw they've got a significant garrison in East Anglia. Less in Dover, though. Maybe Portsmouth would be the target. It's also great to invade up here. Hull is great because you can defend this river here. You know how much I love defending rivers. Okay, these guys are probably ready to deploy. Yep, good. Okay, so you lot are the proper MPs. There we go. So let's give them... Let's see if they can do it. I doubt they can. But let's just see. We don't need to garrison that one because we've got plenty of people in the ports. 
Let's see if they can garrison all this area. See, it says minimum divisions 27. <laughs> yeah, no. Unfortunately. But if we let them spread out, and then we slowly take troops out of the, these provinces, we can just see how long, they'll, how much they'll be able to do. Okay, so these two here. So can I take these two large divisions out of here? Let's find out. No, now it's capped at 47. Okay, not going to be able to take many guys out at all. How about the two Titchy divisions, though? Now it's capped at... Still zero. Good, so we've got two divisions out. This place is still not even capped negative. Down here it's capped negative, so let's try taking out the two little divisions. Let's put them there, actually, since there's so much training to be had in that province. Okay, let's see. I'll strategically redeploy them up there just to get them out of the way faster so I can test it. No, now it's 26. Okay, so if one of them comes back, how's that? Six. That's probably low enough for now. Uh, down here, so it is currently negative. Just one of these guys taken out. Probably won't be doable, unfortunately, but let's have a look. Uh, oh, no, it is. Fantastic. Okay, we'll have you up here then, please. Uh, so it's still negative. Can I take the other one? That's probably asking a bit too much, but let's just find out. Yeah, that's asking way too much. Okay, so he stays there. Uh, that one obviously just has them in. Here, let's see if I can have you guys up here. Again, I doubt it, but worth a go. Journey to Scandinavia. I thought we already had that pop up. Hmm. Okay, so they go up there. Come on, get out. Ooh, sorry, he's not strategically redeploying. I wonder why it's taking so long. Okay, so now it's at 36. Alright, so I reckon one of those is probably enough. This is capped at 25. That's probably okay. It's, there's not much down here, to be honest. Well, there's quite a few civvy factories, actually. But there we go. That's capped negative. Um, here we've already looked at. Here we've looked at. Here we've looked at. Up here we didn't, but we haven't actually sent any up there yet. Okay. <coughs> this looks good to me, then. So now we're just waiting on these inventions. Still sh bafflingly showing that we have 101% naval supremacy. That makes even less sense. <clears throat> but I shouldn't really question it, should I? So yeah, I think simultaneous invasions of Portsmouth and Plymouth uh, would be good. How's air? We have total air supremacy over the Allies. That is nonsense. Actually, we don't have total here. Why isn't there a percentage? The only thing that matters is the percent dominance that you have. And it doesn't tell you the percentage. It's irritating. Because you need 75 to power drop. Well, it looks like we might be able to do a naval invasion if this... It feels like a bug, but, I mean, I guess maybe the enemy ships present are all subs and they can't do superiority or something? I, I don't know. But we're not going to question it too much. Okay, here it comes, 18 days, and then obviously we're going to have to plan it. I am going to try and plan a full 10 naval invasion. And, of course, because there are quite a few enemy s ships here, it might be that we get um, attacked while we're trying to go across. We'll probably take significant casualties. Actually, that's an argument for sending all 10 to Portsmouth. Because if we try and spread it out, then they're more likely to get attacked. Because it's further away to get to Plymouth. <coughs> oh, okay. That's what I should do as well. I want to... We're getting occasional little bits of intel because of the planes and the ships moving around. I want to see... Okay, there's one motorised division in Plymouth, Portsmouth. Is that Portsmouth or Plymouth? Portsmouth, right. Obviously, where's Plymouth? I should really know this. There's Plymouth. Right. And how many people are there in Dover? That's the other thing I want to know. Because Dover's obviously the best place to invade into, because it's a high level fort. Just one guy, okay. It's going to be a 10 people naval invasion of Dover, I think. No, let's do both. Five and five. And then we'll try and hold these three provinces. That's a great place to try and hold. Okay, so, modify government. Um, I think we have to go to scraping the barrel. It's only a 5% difference. But I think we've got to. We need every single man. Not least because military policing is becoming a real pain. Unfortunate, but necessary, I think. Did I actually tell them to garrison up here? No, I should do that. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't rock the boat while I've got them all set up to uh, nicely keep, keep the uh, resistance low. So yeah, scraping the barrel already. I guess that was inevitable. So many freaking naval invasion noises. Okay, and uh, with the invention of 
the naval invasion, <laughs> which I really should have thought of and got earlier, but oh well, apologies. There's transport ship. With that, I'll call it a part here. Hopefully, next time we'll be able to uh, to push into England. But until then, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.